Good morning, everybody. Patty Ann here. Uh, yesterday, I did a plate, a charger plate using Silhouette Studio. And today, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to use Cricut Design Space. So if you saw yesterday's video, you saw how I measured the plate. And when I did that, I got two shapes. Uh, the outer circle was for the outside of the plate, and I made that 13 inches. So I came up here and made it 13 and hit Enter on my keyboard. And then I made the inner circle so I knew how to or where to place my text. Grabbed the circle and made it 8 inches because that's where the flat area was. Then I brought those together like this and I changed the color of one of them so I could tell what I was doing. And actually I might change the color of the outer one as well. Okay. So then I just made a box around those and set a line center. And I grouped them. Okay, the next thing I did was I just came up here to the text tool and I typed in all that I am or ever hope, whoops, hope to be, comma, I Oh, to my angel mom. Be careful of the word angel that you don't actually accidentally write angle. It's G-E-L. <laughs> All right. So the first thing I have to do here um, that's different than in Silhouette Studio is I just have to move the letters together. It's not that big a deal. It's just an extra step that we do. So I use the letter spacing and move them closer together so they're touching. or nearly touching. This is a, a script font, so I pretty much would like them to touch if possible. But since it's vinyl, it's not that crucial. Okay, I don't like the way the word, the if or the I is so close to that. So after I make this go around, after I curve it, then I'm going to fix the word I here and here so they're not so close to the word before them. So I'm just going to come up to the Curve tool. And I'm going to curve it all the way around in a circle like that. Okay, oops. And then I'm going to bring it down here. And I need to make it out a lot more. Oh, there, that's perfect, just like that. Okay, the only other thing, I, like I said, I wanted to do was I wanted to grab the letter I. So I'm going to have to come up here now to Advanced and Ungroup to Letters. And once I do that, I won't be able to change the curve anymore. So I need to make sure I was happy with the curve. And I'm going to move the word I, the letter I over because I think it's too close. And I'm going to move this one over a little bit because I think it's too close. All right, there it is. Now I'm going to move these things out of the way, come up here and just weld these like that. And now I'm just going to use this tool and twirl it around and bring this here. Okay, that looks perfect. Now the only other thing I have to do is get my angel. So I'm going to grab her, go to images. And actually, I have wings selected up here because that's what I did last time. So I'll just look for the wings first. And I chose this one to use. Here it comes down here in this little trough. I'm going to say insert images. Okay, there it is. And I need to make it much smaller so it'll fit. Perfect. And then I'm going to go get an angel, and I liked her pretty well, so I'm going to get images. And I just typed in angel. And I could just do wings if I wanted to. You know, the little cherub if I wanted to. Whatever. Um, I just chose, at first I chose this one. But then I saw this one that I liked. this one. So I inserted her. Now she comes in in a lot of colors, which we could do. But I didn't really want to on my charger plate. So all I did was come over here into the layers panel 
and get rid of several layers. So this gray layer right here that's behind her wings, I hid that by clicking on the eyeball. And the black layer, I clicked that and hid it. And the layer that was behind her wings, I clicked on that. And this is what I was left with. So I selected her and I came up here and changed it all to black. Now notice over here in the layers panel, there are still a lot of layers and I really don't need that because it's just going to be one piece of black. So I'm going to weld it or it could be white. It could be gold. It could be any color you like. So that's it. It's as simple as that. All we have to do now, well, let me hide this one, hide it, and let's go to make it. And it's probably going to come in on two different pieces. Oh, it's too large. Do you know why it's too large? Because I left the 13 inch plate in there, which I don't need. So let me get the plates out and hide them. And now we can say make it. And notice, as I said, it came in on two different pieces. So let me cancel that. And this is the weld part. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to weld everything together. And now it will come in on one piece if I go to make it. And it's as simple as that. But like I said, what I would do after I cut it on the one piece like that, I would cut apart some of this outside stuff and I would never try to put this on the charger all in one piece. I would cut these outer things out in sections and line them up because there's a dip where she goes. And it was hard if you noticed the other day. I don't know if I videotaped that part, but it was hard to put it on when there was text and something in here at the same time. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Enjoy making charger plates. These would be perfect for Mother's Day. I like putting them up on the little stand as I had shown yesterday. Um, and I can just change out my plates for the different holidays. So again, if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. Um, be sure to subscribe. I'm still trying to get to 15,000 subscribers. And I appreciate all your help. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.